What is up, guys? Get so far. And welcome back to today's vlog. Today, we're actually going to discover something new about KLCC that we haven't discovered before while living here in Kuala Lumpur. We're here because Evelyn put out a message on our Instagram account on Queso Pa Malaysia to find out what we could do here in Kuala Lumpur. Like, what is something that you guys want to see us do while we vlog? In fact, if you guys have another idea, let us know down in the comments below or go ahead and check out Queso Pa Malaysia and send a message to Evelyn. All right, so anyway, it's starting to rain right now. So let you know what? Why don't you guys come along with us? Let's go. where we are that's right we're over here in Aquaria down in KLCC we've been so excited to see this place but for some reason or another we just haven't been here yet so we're actually gonna go ahead and discover it well no we're gonna go ahead and explore it <laughs> yo check out all the piranhas that's awesome I've always wanted to see these So the first thing that I want to point out is the cost of the entrance to come in here. When I looked up online, it said on the main website that they were about 65 ringgit a person for just coming in by, by yourself. Like if you were to come here and purchase a ticket in person or on the official website, then yeah, it was going to cost you about like 65 ringgit. But we found a better deal on a different website. So it's called klook.com where the tickets were only 30, no, 42 ringgit a person for foreigners. And then it's even cheaper for nationals. So if you're a national, definitely jump on that klook website and purchase think it's there. It definitely worked. I'll leave a link to the website down below in the description box area. Uh, yeah. Look like little donuts. <laughs> <laughs> What's it feel like? <laughs> ah, it is chocolate chip sea star. And also we have kind of a new little eels. Alright, so this one is called an electric catfish. I didn't even know they had electrical catfish before. Elephant news fish right here. What's up? Super <laughs> raro. Probably saying the same thing about us. Is that his tongue? <laughs> well, the obvious has got to be his nose, right? Wow. Ooh, now we're entering my favorite stuff. The ancient shipwreck section with all the sharks. Let's go. So here we have our lionfish and our red one down here. Sea urchins. I would not want to step on those things. And then we got a stonefish over here. All right, looks like we're heading into the deep forest. Evelyn, are you ready to go in? Check that out. Check out that tank. You're just like swimming in a circle. Dang, look at the size of that thing. That thing is huge. Swim in one big circle. Uh, what a life. 
You know what's funny about these fish? These are archer fish, and what's cool about them is they actually squirt water out of their mouth like a squirt gun. And they actually have like a bullseye planted up there, I guess. Maybe they put like a bug or something on it? I don't know, but I was actually talking about these with my students probably about like three weeks ago, so it's really cool to actually see these. I would say the one thing about being here, it isn't even the kids that are like crazy running around here, but how loud they are. They need to control the volume in this place because they are like screaming so loud that I don't even know if you guys can even hear me when I'm talking, but yeah, it's a little, a little loud. Living ocean. Oh, that's gotta be the slowest tram thing there is. Ready? So we're in the shark tunnel. This is one of my favorite attractions and all the other aquariums that I've been to. So this one looks really cool too. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> I was thinking like Nemo or something, I see the giant turtle. Dang, these things are super cool, look at this thing. Holy cow. He's smiling for you. Do you want to swim with them? No. <laughs> So far, it's been a really cool underwater tunnel. I mean, there are so many really nice fish. There's a lot of cool sharks, giant turtles, manta rays, stingrays, I don't know. I mean, there's tons of really cool stuff to come see. So this, this alone is worth the trip here. What do you think? You've never been to an aquarium before? No. I didn't know that. I didn't know she's ever been to an aquarium before. No, it's my first time. Thank you. Check that out. So you leave this tunnel and then you got another tunnel right here. Rock on. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, he's just like chilling on the glass. Tell me that doesn't look like someone's face. Like, hey, get out of my house. Check out these Japanese spider crabs. These things are huge. I bet if you were a crabber, these things would pull a premium in the ocean. My goodness, these things are giant. That's crazy. So it looks like every three o'clock on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, they have a shark feeding. So you can always come out here and check it out and watch it. So they have a whole section on transparent fish in the ocean. That's pretty cool. You can see what he ate. <laughs> you ever wanted to see what Dory looked like on the inside? <laughs> All right, guys, we just got done walking out of the aquarium, and Evelyn, what did you think since this was your very first time at an aquarium? Me encantó. El acuario está super lindo. Había mucha variedad de peces. Me sentí literalmente debajo del agua. Pero lo que más me gustó de todo fue la pasarela, donde tú puedes ver los tiburones, las tortugas, los peces. Fue maravilloso verlos por debajo y sentir que estabas ahí nadando con ellos. Una gran experiencia, me encantó. 
Yeah, I think my favorite part was also walking through the shark tunnel. Because, I mean, I've been through shark tunnels before, but this one was really cool. You really get up close and personal. I mean, you can really just kind of like reach out and touch. I'm sure if you guys saw either some of the video that we've taken or maybe even some of the photos that we're posting up on Instagram right now. So if you haven't, go ahead and check out Evelyn's Instagram page. She's going to be posting them up there, and I'm going to put up like maybe one or two. But yeah, go check out the Queso Pa Malaysia site if you want to check out more of the photos that Evelyn took. So right now we're going to go see if we can go find some deep, right? I mean, there's tons of stuff here in the area, but I don't know. Let's go see what we can find. Let's go explore a little bit. But let's go. No. <laughs> no. So as usual, as like would have it, of course, it's pouring outside right now. It wouldn't be a Dustin and Evelyn vlog if it didn't rain. So we're going to go ahead. We're gonna, I think we're going to head over to Pavilion, see if we can just find something over in that area. I don't know. Maybe we'll go ahead and get one of those 13 ring at Titanics over at Dome. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Vamos caminando por el Skywalk aquí en Kuala Lumpur. Es increíble. Según nos cuentan, según averiguamos, conecta el área de KLCC con Booking Vinta. Aproximadamente como 20 minutos caminando, tú puedes caminar en este puente con aire acondicionado y disfrutar. No tienes que enfrentarte al tráfico, a cruzar una calle. Vamos a ver qué tal. That works out really well for Evelyn too, because you have to go to Bukit Bintang all the time, right? Sí. So we're exploring the skywalk to see if we can actually head over to the pavilion instead of the towers because of the rain. So oop, looks like we took a wrong way. So we're gonna go and see if we can find our way to the pavilion because we're gonna just grab some food over there. Uh, we were gonna go head over to the Patronus Towers, but again, because it's raining, there isn't really a covered way to get there, and we don't really feel like taking a grab at the moment. So why not? Let's just take this new sky bridge and explore it a little bit. Location. Where are we gonna eat? La Boca. Latino bar. The Latino bar. And if you actually look carefully, I can't zoom in because the light's not good enough, but there's actually a Panamanian flag somewhere in there. So, I don't know. You wanna go check it out? Sí, vamos. All right, so I think I'm gonna order this monstrosity of a burrito. That sounds like a really good winner. Evelyn, what are you gonna order? Yo voy a comer. Nacho fries. Nacho fries. <laughs> oh man, look at what just arrived. Yeah, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah, buddy, look at that. I hope you're hungry. Se ve super grande. Oh man. Well. Bad boy just came too. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Evelyn's already going to town on the French fries. <laughs> she didn't even wait for me. Oh, I can't wait. All right, let's see how this thing tastes. Oh, man. That is fire. That is good. Is that spicy? No, it's not even spicy at all. You're gonna like it, actually. This is a really good burrito. We've been dying to find like a really good Mexican restaurant since we moved here. This one's really good, and the tortillas and everything are very authentic. I like it. I really like it. So if you're really looking for some good authentic Mexican food, or at least something close enough to what I've seen since I've been here, I would say this pie is really is worth the trip out here. Alguien está comiendo de mi papas. We're sharing, right? Sharing is caring. Uh huh. It's so good. <laughs> Yo, hands down, two thumbs up. Come check this spot out. <laughs> it's a little spicy. Oh yeah, a little spicy. Oh man, that food was so good. I mean, if you guys are really looking for some Mexican food, definitely go check this spot out over at the Pavilion Mall. All right, so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up to the movie theater because we haven't been to the movies in a long time and we're actually really wanted to see the new Lego movie. So we're gonna go 
go ahead and see if we can pick up some tickets for that and then we're gonna catch it later on tonight because I think Evelyn wants to go see if we can catch the light show over at the park. So let's see if we can get the tickets first and then we'll head over to the park. Two hours later. All right guys, we actually just ended up going to the movie instead. We found a movie that was around like seven o'clock and we got there like 7.10 so we just said screw it and we just went into the movie but it was cute. I mean, it wasn't as good as the first one in my opinion but you know, it's all good. It was something to do. What'd you think? A mi me encanto. Entendi. <laughs> well, there we go. That's half the battle. So right now we're gonna go see if we can catch the light show. I don't know if we're gonna make it on time because I think we're running a little bit late, but it's all good. We'll see if we can get there. So let's go. I think we made it, but I think we just missed it. I think we literally just caught the last second because right now everyone's like walking away now. <laughs> oh well. Hey, check it out. Do you guys recognize that place? Maybe we'll get one of those 13 ring of tape addicts that I was talking about earlier in the video. So here you go, here's what the lights would normally look like, but of course there would be some music attending with it, but let's see, you can check out the towers in the back. Heading up. Boom, Patronus Twin Towers. They look really beautiful at night. Well, we didn't have any luck with the show, so I guess we're gonna have to wait until the next time we come back out to KLCC and see the show, so I don't know, sorry Evelyn. So we'll save it for another vlog, we'll catch it on the next time. But anyway guys, we guys hope you had a good time coming along with us for the day. So don't forget to like the video guys if you enjoyed what you saw today. Don't forget to subscribe and stick around for more. We got more car vlogs coming up soon for all my gearheads out there. And of course we have some other food things. And also thanks again for a lot of you guys that have been sending us messages on Instagram and stuff. Giving us some recommendations of where to go. So we'll definitely be sure to check out those spots. So we'll see you in the next one. Peace.